Let's talk about Juiced. Most people would probably describe it as bootleg NFS, but I think that it was much more than that. For starters, handling. The handling in the game is quite bad, mostly because it's too sensitive, but different cars actually feel different. Most importantly, different drive types require different approaches. In a front wheels drive car, I can easily slam down the throttle and be fine with it. In a four wheels drive car, I would probably be sliding around corners and in a rear wheels drive car, I really have to focus on getting that slow in fast out or I'll simply spin out. Interestingly enough, the difference persists even within one drive type from a very stable S2000 to a very tail happy 300ZX, from a light Land EVO to a very heavy Skyline GTR, they are all different. Another thing done good are characters. In Juiced, you never feel like you drive against cars, you drive against other drivers. Each driver has its own traits. Maria, for example, prefers 4WD tuners and is more aggressive, while Carlos likes muscles and is considerably shyer. Uh, how about no? Do I look stupid? I already mentioned that handling is too sensitive and therefore not so good. But that, combined with the lack of restart button, makes me afraid of driving, which not many games do. On higher class cars I'm always scared to drive and it is kinda cool, because overtuned cars shouldn't be easy to drive. The game has 55 cars to offer, and it's a lot considering other games of the era. Most Wanted came out the same year and had only 32. The number of visuals you can apply isn't great, but still keeps you occupied for a while. So, why no one really cares about it if it's so great? Well, I think there are a few reasons for that too. The game is clustered with issues. It's repetitive, boring at places, has chores to do and it is insanely difficult at times. Difficulty is all fine by me, but not when it comes from game design flaws. One big flaw is the lack of balance. Some cars are clearly overpowered, while others are complete rubbish. The game has a constant issue of four wheels drive being too fast, and in late game Viper just demolishes anything, even without upgrades, so it becomes a one car game pretty darn fast. That's why most people I know usually stick to classes 6 to 5, where Viper isn't a problem. To demonstrate to you the magnitude of a problem, I will now beat this Z06 in a drug event without using the Nitro. Not so much of a major flaw, but the game never really tells you what to do. There is a goal in this game, but many people I talked to never even realized there is one. They were just playing it and doing whatever they want until they become bored and drop the game. In conclusion, I think Juice requires some balancing to do. If it had better balanced cars, I would have enjoyed it much more. Some better visible goal is required to keep me on track and give me some sense of progression. And yes, physics needs some work too, otherwise it's a great game that just happens to be slightly damaged by some game design flaws. On this note, I'm out, thank you for watching.